Hello everyone, my name is Radhesh Chatterjee and welcome back to the channel. We have started a journey where we are learning about this CRM software. The first video, this is our third video. In the first video, we discussed what is CRM. Second video, we discussed how CRM would be helpful for your customer's journey, right? How do you manage your leads, your customer data, your customer's orders, payments and invoices, all these data, how do you manage in your CRM system? In this video, we are going to learn same CRM software which you have already used to capture your customer's data, customer related data, how the same CRM software would be helpful for you to manage your customer's tickets, right? And your ticketing tool can be easily replaced by your CRM software. So CRM can actually handle not only your customer's data, your marketing data, but also your ticketing data. All right. So we are going to learn in this video how as a CRM, what are the features that a CRM can perform in order to manage your customers tickets. All right. So let's begin. One thing I have to tell you here, this video, including the last two video was pretty much functional. So if you are a business owner, you would be knowing how CRM software would be helpful for your business, right? Once you're done with today's video, next set of videos, I'm going to introduce the uh, one of the best CRM right and um, and we will see whatever functional thing that we have discussed in the last video and in today's video whatever we are going to discuss we will see with a real time crm example how a crm can actually handle all this part okay so in the next video i'm going to demonstrate you and uh, show you how a, a, a good crm can help you for managing all the sales and service but in this video let's go ahead and understand what do you mean by a ticketing tool right what exactly a ticketing system can do okay let's begin so the first thing that a ticket management system does is the system used to onboard the customer's data what do you mean by customer's data for an example everything we should understand with a real example right so we're going to talk about an example um, of a manufacturer company right so if you are a manufacturer company suppose you do manufacture the the contact lenses okay and you have a lot of distributors who buy the product who buy the bulk product from you and you are the manufacturer company owner and uh, you know sell the products to their customers right so your customers are nothing but the distributors suppose example right in this case your distributors your customers data is already there in your crm we have already discussed this in the previous video now for for an example let's say your distributors are facing some problem related to the invoice let's say they, they are not getting the clear picture on the last invoice maybe the 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 last shipment that has happened was there was some wrong in that particular shipment or whatever it is right so a couple of your distributors they want to raise their concern correct now let's understand what are the different different channel that can be used to onboard a customer's concern first thing is email so your company your manufacturer company let's say xyz manufacturer company right your manufacturer company will have let's say an email address right and the distributors will come and email in that particular email address saying you know i have this problem can you please fix it what should happen immediately that email whatever uh, you know whatever ticket has been raised through that particular email should come and sit into your crm or in your ticketing management system in this case your ticket management system is nothing but your crm right so email is a, is a platform through which you as a business owner can onboard your customers concern right email is done now what next next could be a phone call so you as a company owner can actually give toll free number and your distributors uh, who are nothing but your customers uh, they're actually calling in the toll free number saying you know what i got a problem can you please fix it so the person who is actually receiving the call he is in front of the ticket management system or in front of the crm system and he is man he is capturing the uh, customer's concern in that uh, system correct so phone call could be another uh, platform through which a customer concern can be onboarded what is next next is website so as a business owner you must be having your own website and uh, definitely you must be having your own uh, your application right mobile like you know android and ios application right which you have given to your distributors your customers now your customers can actually come to your website can check out the form and submit the details and submit the concern that concern from your website has to come and sit into your ticket management tool or crm got it this is the third way to onboard a concern of a customer Fourth is, as I said, you must be having some application also like Android and iOS application and through the application, you can also onboard the customer journey. Okay, so email is done. 
phone call is done uh, website is done and application is done right what else the next could be the chatbot you know what is chatbot is nowadays very famous thing right where you know most of the business just to make sure they automate uh, most of the things what they do is they plug in a chatbot in the website right so you as a customer right you as a manufacturer owner suppose i am the customer i would be going to your website instead of filling the form what i should do is i will just go and you know talk to the chat chat bot first right the bot will talk to me if the bot can resolve my concern is fine if not then the bot will transfer the ticket to the ticket management system which is nothing but your crm right so this chat bot is another way through which you can actually uh, gather the customer's concern okay what next next is a uh, kind of a premium feature which um, a few of my customer i have seen them using this right uh, which is nothing but let's say again the as a manufacturer company you have some premium customer of yours okay and you don't want them you don't want your premium customer to you know email their concern or to call you and then uh, talk about the concern right you have given them a separate portal itself a portal where i as a premium customer can log in with my user details and can raise a concern got it so portal is another um, uh, way another platform through which you as a business owner can actually onboard the customers concern so we have discussed about email phone uh, a website chat or it could be your it could be your uh, portal where a customer can come and uh, raise their concern all right so your ticket management system first should be capable to onboard the customer's data from all this platform that's what a ticket management system does right and basically it's nothing but your crm right at crm we are considering as your ticket management system all right now your customer concern has been onboarded into the crm what is next next is what the assignment right the case is will be assigned to a particular agent and the service agent will get notification saying you know what high service agent this is the case case number is this and you have to fix it in some time right so service agent will get a notification right and at the same time customer also will get notified i think you as a customer have seen a lot of time when you are, you raise a concern right uh, you you get a mail from no reply at the rate something.com right where you get to know that your your ticket has been uh, uh, created and generated and your ticket number is this and your ticket is been uh, is is going to get resolved by someone named xyz got it you might get this kind of email this is called auto response by the way your crm system should be capable enough to take care of this automation your customer notification and this salesperson notifications all right so the assignment is done now assignment again we have discussed the same assignment in the sales part where an assignment can happen based on different different criteria a criteria could be um, you know based on the priority some uh, uh, tickets will go to a high priority team based on the product the ticket would go to a particular person or a particular team whatever it is right business can define the criteria and crm should be capable enough to handle that logic inside it all right your ticket has been onboarded your customer has been notified your ticket has been assigned to the service agent what is next next is the sla remember every customer should have a service level agreement okay for an example as a manufacturer company you have 10 customers you have 10 distributors but out of the 10 distributors right few distributors are let's say premium customers of yours right and their concern any concern that comes from them should get resolved in eight hours that's called sla anyone who is like a, a mid priority customer should uh, any concern comes from that kind of customers should get resolved in let's say 72 hours or any customer who is like low priority customer any concern comes from them should get resolved in let's say like seven week days right so these could be your slas right now business can define the slas and guess what crm should be the responsible software who should handle this sla which mean crm should notify the sales agent saying hey sales agent this is a high priority customer and you have to resolve the ticket in four hours and your time starts now if the sales agent cannot fulfill cannot resolve the query in four hours then again it's a crm job to take the escalation part escalation will happen i mean when, I, when you say escalation what does it uh, mean actually escalation means let's say i'm a service agent and i am not able to resolve the ticket on the given sla right so an email should go should be triggered to my manager saying you know rajesh is the um, service agent but and this is the ticket number one two three has not been resolved by rajesh on time that's kind of a escalation right so that escalation also should be taken care by your crm all right so your ticket has been onboarded 
your ticket uh, your customers has notified that we we have received a ticket your sales agent has notified about the ticket your ticket has been assigned and your sla has been defined inside the crm what is next next is see we do this a uh, back and forth right so i am an agent suppose you are the customer okay you have got the first email from the uh, system saying like you know we have received your concern after that the support executive talk to the customers back and forth through an email maybe they say that to hold on for certain time our back end team is checking that issues whatever it is right so back and forth email conversation has to happen and guess what that every every single email conversation should happen inside your crm i as a support executive should not switch to another platform to talk to the customer so this is again a crm job to take care of your uh, customer conversation all right now one very important feature here right see every ticket should have something called status what do you mean by this let's say a ticket has been onboarded into the system initially the status is open then the ticket has been assigned to a particular service agent and the status become assigned then the service agent is has opened the case and the automatically the the uh, ticket uh, status become what uh, in progress after that the customer is getting an email from the service agent saying i need this document so the status should become automatically let's say uh, waiting for the customer so status is something which defines what is the stage of that what is the status of that uh, uh, tickets so status should be uh, should be uh, a field kind of which would be helpful for a business for the executive to understand what is the current status of that ticket all right after the back and forth conversation what next next is the the support executive might have resolved the case so customer would get notified through an email saying hi customer your case number this 12345 has been resolved by a support executive rajesh and if you think it is actually resolved please do not reply or if you think it is not been resolved please reply in the same email thread what happen after that if the customer reply back in the same email thread after the ticket get resolved what should happen crm should understand okay the customer is replying that means this this ticket status should be should be back to in progress right so crm see crm uh, you know it's not about only ticket management tool you know customer they use crm to automate every single thing right customer the agent should not go and manually do this you know status change and stuff like that everything should be taken care by the crm all right so now the crm has understand the customer ticket has not been resolved because the customer has replied to in the same email thread and then it become in progress after that let's say uh, uh, the executive have somehow resolved the ticket okay now again once the ticket has been resolved correct once the ticket has been resolved suppose business requirement like this is one of the requirement that uh, we get very often right business requirement is suppose business said that uh, you know what if the ticket status is resolved and if the customer doesn't reply for let's say uh, 72 hours or 24 hours then the status of the ticket should be automatically closed and if the customer reply then the status of the ticket would be let's say um, in progress back again correct so this is a, a kind of a, a ticket journey where the ticket started with open status and closed with closed status all right and once the customer uh, don't reply within this time frame what happen the ticket become closed and that's the end of the ticket journey after that there is one more thing happen okay after that customer gets another email which is nothing but a survey email so the business sends a survey email to the customer saying hi customer our sales executive named rajesh has fixed your problem are you satisfied with that uh, uh, solution if yes please rate us right and that uh, you know survey feedback i mean the the customer feedback should get stored inside your crm all right so crm which is nothing but a ticket management tool here should be a responsible software for doing this end to end automation of your ticket journey all right that's all about the ticketing system i want you to um, understand about next video i'm going to come up with the one of the best crm okay that uh, i'm going to give you a demonstration and will show you how that particular crm would be helpful to um, uh, for your customer journey for your uh, leads and customer journey and how the same crm software would be helpful for you as a business um, to manage your tickets all right i hope this video was helpful and thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next video